Hey everybody, it's Elle or Ariel back for another bump date for all of you guys. Uh, so sorry I was a little bit behind on my videos, so today I'm going to be doing a 14 and 15 week bump date because I didn't have time to fill them every single week. So the main thing that's been crazy going on for me is I have been working so much and instead of doing an eight hour shift lately, I've been doing a nine hour shift. So I've been leaving my house by 8 p.m. every single day, which makes it really difficult to get anything done, especially because my husband gets home at like six, so we only really have two hours together. So I've just been feeling bad about like you know, wasting those two hours by making a video, but I really felt like I needed to update you guys. And I really love having these videos anyways to be able to look back on and see all the cool places we've come from. So anyway, so this is going to be my 14 and 15 week bump date. So first thing that's going on is, I'm not sure if I had mentioned this to you guys before or not. I can't remember. It's been like two weeks since I made a video. Um, but I have been having like really sore feet and they've kind of been tingly and I definitely have been feeling some swelling and stuff like that. So I asked about compression socks for my, um, from my midwife and she had prescribed them to me and I still have not gotten them. So I picked a company that was not super local, like they're half an hour away from us, but they had really good reviews online and I had to go in in person and get measured for them and everything and I still haven't gotten them and I'm starting to kind of give up on them. I might just go buy myself some compression socks that aren't prescription um, just because I'm getting a little frustrated with that. Um, and my feet really seem to be doing better if I'm wearing compression socks than not. Um, since I already in the past have had like circulation issues and things like whatever. So I'm just kind of uh, hoping that I can fix it myself. And then let's see, the other thing that's been going on is I officially signed us up for hypnobirthing classes. We decided we're going to do the hypnobirthing, I think it's called the Morgan Method or something like that. And so we're really hoping to have a natural, if we can, water birth. And so we're hoping, <clears throat> um, so my midwife is out of a birth center. So it's like right across from a hospital. So if there's any issues, they transfer you to the hospital. So I feel pretty safe about that. And we're going to hopefully be doing a water birthday with big tubs and stuff like that. But I really wanted some like strategies. Like I know a lot about birth because I am a doula, but I also wanted to have some other strategies beyond what I've just learned. And so we're going to be doing hypnobirthing classes together, which I'm really excited about. So those are coming up in a couple weeks. Oh yeah, and I'm going to give my husband uh, the childbirth class that I do on a regular basis for couples. I'm gonna be giving it to him shortly. And so that'll be really fun to be able to teach him all about birth and all of that good stuff. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, so it's been getting really cold here and I'm starting to not fit into my winter jackets and stuff like that. So I actually went to Savers and I was determined to find a giant coat for myself. And I wound up finding this like 3X coat that's just gigantic. Um, but it fits me right now and there's still lots of room to grow because obviously I'm not a size 3X. I didn't want to like buy a maternity coat because I figured I'm not going to be using it for that long. And they're really expensive. They're like $100. And I have really nice winter coats because we, you know, live in Boston. Um, so I didn't want to have to like buy a specialty coat. So I just spent 20 bucks on this really nice like fluffy 3X thing that just feels like a giant blanket that you're wrapped in, which is wonderful. So I just brought it home and washed it and yeah, and now it's great. Feels like wearing a big fluffy blanket around. So as you guys can tell, my hair is certainly not perfect, but I think I've finally gotten like my oily hair and like oily face situation figured out. It definitely helps that things are drier now, now that it's getting cooler. Um, and I also figured out like which shampoos and stuff are working better for me. And if I have any like amazing results, then I'll definitely let you guys know like which brands I seem to have better luck with than others. Uh, but yeah, things have been going pretty well. And there hasn't been that much happening these past two weeks. I've definitely been growing and stretching and feeling <laughs> feeling more pregnant, which is always wonderful. Um, but other than that, you know, we've been celebrating, like we celebrated Halloween, which was really fun. And <clears throat> we took our nephews to her treating, which was awesome. And, you know, we're excited. We're telling them, you know, oh, there's a baby in auntie's belly and stuff like that. And it was so much fun. As you guys know, we announced it to the to the world, to Facebook, we're Facebook official and everything now. And I can't believe that I'm already done with my first trimester. That's just like bananas to me. So I'm officially into my second trimester and things have just been going 
really smoothly and yeah, everything's been great. So that's it for now guys. And if I have any other updates, I will let you know. Hopefully I will be more on time with my week 16 update. And that's it for now guys. And if you like, subscribe, bye.